Today we celebrate St. Jane Francis de Chantal. In Madame de Chantal I have found the perfect woman whom Solomon had difficulty finding in Jerusalem. Who said that? St. Francis de Sales, her spiritual director. St. Jane Francis de Chantal was born in Dijon, France in 1572 and died at the Visitation Convent in December of 1641. She was born into a nobility, her father being the president of the Parliament of Burgundy. At age 20, she was married to the Baron de Chantal, had four children, loved and served her young family deeply until the death of her husband in a hunting accident at age 28. For seven years, she was forced to live in the house of a father-in-law, a trial which she was forced to bear patiently due to his ill disposition towards her, and it was during this time that she took a vow of perpetual chastity. In all of her prayers, Jane asked God to send her a guide. In a vision he showed her, the spiritual director that he held in reserve for her. During Lent in 1604, she visited her father at Dijon, where St. Francis de Sale was preaching at the Saint-Chapelle. She recognized in him the mysterious director who had been shown to her, and she placed herself under his guidance. Then began the famous correspondence between the two saints, which produced volumes of letters of spiritual directive, some of which are available today. She went to Annecy in 1610, where she believed God was calling her to found an order for women and girls uh, to a life of Christian perfection, but not practice the severe aestheticism of the religious orders of the time. Thus the Congregation of the Visitation was canonically established at Annecy in 1610. The method of spiritual perfection of the Visitation nuns was that of St. Francis, which consisted in always keeping one's will united to the Divine Will, in taking, so to speak, one's soul, heart, and longings into one's hands, and giving them into God's keeping, and in seeking always to do what is pleasing to Him. St. Jane Francis de Chantal's spirituality was a strong and resilient one. She did not like to see her daughters giving way to human weaknesses, and encouraged constant battle against the passions and habits which keep one from following God's will. Her trials were continuous and born bravely, and yet she was exceedingly sensitive. She endured interior crosses, which particularly during the last nine years of her life kept her in agony of soul, from which she was not freed until three months before her death. Her reputation for sanctity was widespread. Queens, princes, and princesses flocked to the reception room of the visitation. Wherever she went to establish foundations, the people gave her ovations. These people, she would say confused, do not know me, they are mistaken. Her body is venerated with that of St. Francis de Sales in the Church of the Visitation at Annecy. She was canonized in 1767. St. Jane Francis de Chantal married, husband dies, gives it all to Christ, and continues that way until she dies. And guess what? She becomes a saint. What a marvelous story.